It's just the process of us coming together and unifying ourselves, but unifying ourselves in a way where we know who we are. That's why we bring in this numerology, the etiology, all that's going to let you know exactly who you are so you can know who you're going to become. It's first to identify the personality, to get all the facts of the personality so you can drop the personality and get into being. Instead of all this, that's why social media and socialism, what they're doing is they make you curate everything, everything you post, every picture you send. This is not the booger in your nose. This is not you up in the morning with the, the eye, with the sleep in the eye. This is you sitting in an Insta filter with your skin all clear <laughs> and, and, you know, your, 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 your chin thinned out, right? And, and, and then some, some, some fairies rolling around your head and shit that doesn't even happen in real life. And this is the image that you're sending to another person. And then they look at it and they send it to you. And I don't want to, again, harp on just the action. I'm not saying because you do that, you're the worst person. I'm just saying that this is the point to point system. And it's running amok. And now it's become a real issue because the controlling of whether we even eat tomorrow sometimes feels like it's in the hands of someone who doesn't need that level of power to shift the world and to take, like, remember, this is already happening. People are sitting in Western empires, even on YouTube right now. It hasn't, it hasn't come to your door yet. And I trust that what we're creating won't allow it to. But the truth is, is that many people have already been ransacked and destroyed that were chaste and pious. So if it was just about that, then it wouldn't have happened to them either. Meaning that if you go and you go into some of these countries, like even when I say the Jehovah's Witness, right? Like you look at a Jehovah's Witness, man, they doing nothing wrong, man. They still wearing the long skirts, got the pure, pure face. And, you know, it just looks like they're being preserved because they're not actually getting into the demonic, demonic. But yet and still the overarch has them as his personal feeding crop. You see what I'm saying? Even in the Mamupinun and those that are actually chaste and pious in the Arab cultures, the women that are virgins. Right. The ones that just giggle and laugh all the time. You know, they've never seen anything wrong. No horror movies. That's Jadin. That's the, that's unkosher, if you may. That's not. And then they cop bombs. So if this was about us just being the, the, the most chaste and pious. And that was going to allow us to be released in a way in which we were happy when we when we came from the, when we left from this and then we felt fulfilled, then it would have happened for them. You see what I mean? So that's why I say don't go into the gentle good night. Rage against the dying of the light. Like make sure that on your watch that it's written about you that, yeah, <laughs> we pulled it over on everybody, but not on not on this one and not on this one. They totally got out. And now they look like they're trying to get other people out. So let that be your story. So in conclusion here. We know about this infiltration. As I said, the identity forms are the idolons. They're the private eyes. So be, be, be watchful around you and never be, um, never put yourself into a state where you can't claim the space and control the space. Okay? I mean, don't put yourself into any vulnerable positions with people that you're not capable of checking back on too tough, especially if you're talking about opening your third eye and trusting them with your spiritual wherewithal because there's an intruder just like what the societies experienced because all the societies were pretty much people who weren't practicing Catholicism and were studying metaphysics. And when those societies got really big, they were infiltrated by the same people that wanted to push across Catholicism. And that has happened now. So if you're around and dealing with that kind of stuff, be on guard. The next thing is, is that you got now 200 years at least of Russian socialist programming. If you wanted to understand more about how that works and not just take my advice, Go to the John Birch Society and just look at a couple videos again and refresh your memory coming from a 70 year old white male who has nothing to gain or to nothing to gain by deceiving you about this knowledge because he's sitting in an entire peer group of others investigating the same thing. Then you'll learn it straight that this whole thing about Russia Gate and Russia being involved in the elections and all that is another play to finally reveal to this side of the world that Russia has been controlling all this time the media, the news the social media, and all these people that are in control have already sold out a long time ago to what I feel like is one of the only motherlands that continuously pushed industry. That's why it's a hammer and a sickle. Continuously pushed uh, industry when other countries were just simply embedded in their acts of digging in deeper in with nature and what was going on around them because of the fact, which is revealed that if there is no organized religion, I mean, if there is no Christianity, if you may, or Catholicism, people adapt what you could call a culture, some would say a religion, that is based on their environment. So if you grew up by the ocean 
all of the entities that you would be looking to would somehow be connected to the ocean and water. And this is stuff that you would be pat would be passed down to you from your grandparents. If it was the desert, if it were, or excuse me, if it was the, the 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 jungle, all the entities or the energies that would be dealt with in the tribe, which were ancestors, the the frog and and all those different things would become the quote unquote totems or gods of that particular tradition. But this also equates to why when you take someone that is, let's say, in the ocean tradition and then place them in the mountains, you may have some conflicts of interest because you're bringing in two different elements. And these two elements don't generally fuse well together because even generally through the DNA and all that other thing, the environment has got them kind of different. And so this is where you can see where there's still an ultimate purpose in blending those people because the children of those now inherit the synthesis of both of those imp both of those uh, genuses. But just understand it as it really is. That's where conflicts come from. People from the water coming in with people of the fire or the desert and them having the disagreements within how they believe and what they believe in. OK, so just understand we're not devoid of conflict. And this is another big lie like human human beings. Uh, Watch children. They got the malefic side. The malefic is for us to realize a lot of things. That's a whole nother lesson of why the malefic force exists. Continuing here, as you can see, it's a maxi. Well, it's finished at this point, but I talked about the Black's Law. You know, stop referring to yourself as a color, color black or white. That's why I'm saying they want to make it just black and white so they can put you both into the same box. So black folks, white folks, if you're still calling yourselves that, believe you are that. Don't think that you've inherited anything. Black by the word actually means pale or white. White by the word actually means black by the concept. So this means both are in the trap. Both are now uh, uh, forfeiting the 13th Amendment, which makes them criminals. And now that you're a criminal, then your children can be worked. Everybody can be worked around you. You can be taken advantage of. Just like the non-consent actually disappeared off the Internet, like things like that would protect you that are part of your treaty and your law of the cosmos. You no longer have because you're referring to yourself as a code. And so that's the ID. That's the numbers. It's just a, a quick absol absolution. Right. Absolute. Be sure that this is not you. This may be a character that plugs in that you operate you know, remotely as far as that ID or that name or that character or that form. But know that how not to allow that to become the spy, the usurper, the disruptor, and, and the challenger to who you truly are. 